All right. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm so excited to hang out with you for a few minutes today and show you how to install the Adobe Lightroom mobile app on your iPhone. So first things first, head on over to the App Store and you're going to search for Adobe Lightroom or you might type in Lightroom mobile app and this is what you're going to see pop up. Now the photos on here may look different, but this is what you're looking for, Adobe Lightroom and you'll see the little LR symbol. Now, I already have it downloaded on my phone, but if you don't, you're going to either see the download option, or if you've installed it prior to this video, you might see the open option. But go ahead and click on that. From here, you're either going to sign in or sign up. Now, if you have an Adobe account associated with Photoshop or Lightroom on your desktop or laptop, go ahead and sign in with the um, email address and the password that you used when you created those. If you're brand new, go ahead and sign up. And I suggest signing up with your email address as opposed to Facebook, just so that way you have total control over your account. Now, once you click sign up, you're going to go to this page, and this is where you're going to enter in your information, first name, last name, email address. Your password will be a little bit complicated. I do believe it asks for an uppercase, lowercase, a number, and a symbol, so just keep that in mind. You're going to select your country, your date of birth, and then you're going to click on sign up. Now, it probably will want to verify that you're not a robot, so go ahead and go through that process. And then as soon as you're done with that, Lightroom's gonna ask if they can access your photos. Go ahead and click OK, otherwise the app won't work. From here, your camera roll is gonna pop up. Now what I want you to do is click on those three little dots in the upper right hand corner. You can see my mouse kind of circling around those. Click on those. And then from here, you're gonna make sure that photos and raw are selected. Now the raw images are for the professional photographers. You wanna be able to access and um, edit those in the app. So just make sure that you have that check marked. Otherwise they won't show up and you'll be scratching your head later a little bit confused by that. So go ahead and make sure that that's set up properly right from the start. Now you wanna go ahead and push select. And this will allow you to select certain photos from your camera roll. So if you're like me, you probably don't want to import every single photo that you have. So go ahead and select the ones that you'd like to go ahead and import into the Lightroom mobile app. And then you're going to go ahead and click on add four photos or however many photos you have. And then from here, you're going to go back to this screen. Now you may be wondering where your photos ended up. Go ahead and click on recently added and you'll see your photos begin to populate in that folder. Now I suggest to make things really easy on yourself that you begin to create albums. The purpose of an album is to help you organize and find your images easily as you begin to have more and more photos within your app. So go ahead and click on create album and then you're going to give your album a name. So you may have family photos, vacation photos, however you want to categorize those. Go ahead and give it a name and click OK. And then from here, you're going to see your album pop up under albums, and it's not going to have any images in it. So go ahead and click on the album, and then you're going to add in images from your camera roll, and it's going to look very similar to the process that we just went through of adding images in, um, where you hit select, and then you go ahead and click on the photos that you want to add. And then that's it. So now you're all set up. You have the app on your phone. Now I'm going to show you how to install and use presets to make your editing lightning fast and tons of fun. So I'll see you in the next video.